Hi guys, it's me Swastik and this is part 2 of how to make your own Discord bot dashboard in Python. So let's begin. In the last video, we used Flask and made our basic website. But in this video, we'll be actually using an async version of Flask, which is Quart. The idea of using an async version of Flask was given by Mikey. You can go and find his GitHub in the description below. So first, we'll need to install it. Pip install Quart. And also, we'll need Quart Discord, which will handle the authentication and this should install everything once it's done we can come back and change this to quart and change this to quart basically don't need to change anything else other than changing flask for quart we'll need to copy this and paste it here we will also need to change everything into an async version so async dev home async dev login now I'll also remove this and remove the file here and we can paste this. It'll be handling our OAuth. We'll also need to add some things to the config. We'll be adding the client ID, the client secret and the redirect UI. I changed this to callback. You can go back here and do that. So instead of login, we'll have callback. We'll also need to initialize our Discord OAuth2 session and pass in the app. So I'll remove all of this code because we'll not need all of this. Instead. We'll just need to write one line that is return await discord.create session. We will also write some more functions. First, our callback. So, for the callback, I will paste this here. Callback, and we'll paste this here. So, what this piece of code does is it tries to get the callback. If it fails, if the code is incorrect or something, it will redirect us to the login page. Now, we'll need to import this. So redirect and we'll need to import URL for these are the things that we'll need to import. So once we have this, we can actually do what we did in the last video. We can get the user by saying await discord.fetch user and we can display their name. We can say return f string it. We can say user dot i a name and I think it's user dot discriminator here. Discriminator. So I also needed to remove this. We'll be not using this part here. Instead, what we'll say in our templates, in the index, we will return to login. So we do this. We also needed to change this to await. We need to await this because it's async now. All right, it works. I can log in with Discord and it takes me to this. It's almost the same. And it says here, swas.py. So I did log in properly. Now we'll need to use an extension, which is Discord EXT IPC. And with this, we'll be able to communicate with our bot. First, we'll need to install it. So we'll have to type pip install Discord EXT IPC. Once it is done, we'll need to actually make some changes to our bot.py file. So I'll open that. And I have a basic bot here, which just says hi. Now, We'll need to make some changes. First, we'll need to import IPC. Once that is done, we'll create a class. We'll call it my bot. And this will inherit from commands dot bot. Then we need to write the init function. Self args and quarks and super dot init args and quarks this is the basic thing that we have to do we'll also need to have an ipc which will be ipc dot client sorry this will be the server ipc server we'll need to pass in self and we'll need to pass in the secret key so secret underscore key equal to whatever you want for now let's just keep it my name let's keep it swas all right this is done, we'll need to, let's also write some functions. I'll actually paste these. So the first event is on ready, which is just this here. So we can remove this. So it'll say that the bot is ready when it's ready. The next event is on IPC ready. So when the IPC server is ready, it'll say it's ready. And the third event is on IPC error. When there's an error, it will print that. So let's also add a space here. Now we'll need to change this to my bot. 
my bot and we can actually call it my underscore bot let me just change this here so this will work now now we can create some ipc endpoints at my bot dot ipc dot root let's say we have a root that returns the guild count so get underscore guilds guild count we need to give it the data that it will be receiving from the client and we will simply return my bot dot guilds and we can return the length of the guilds so this what it does is basically it returns the length of the guilds to the client once this is done this is just basically one route you can have as many routes as you want i'll be showing you guys how we'll actually use this later on now we'll need to run the server as well so mybot.ipc.start and we can also change this to my bot okay let's see if it actually works and i'll run this so i made a mistake here this should be two asterisks i also made another mistake here this i should be capital here all right so the server is ready and the bot will be ready soon as well let's see if it works if i go to recording and i say hi and it works let's now write our main.py and inside of our callback actually let's make our dashboard so app.root dashboard and async dev dashboard and we'll need to import ipc here as well so from discord.ext import ipc and here we can say ipc is equal to ipc let's not call it that actually ipc underscore client equals ipc.client now this client will need a secret key which will be which should be equal to the one that you gave it before so secret key equal to i'll just copy this one here and paste this here now let's actually use this get guild count function we will say await ipc client we will make a request the request we will request for this function name the function name i'm just going to copy from here and let's store this in guild underscore count and we can actually return this return f string the bot is in these many servers okay guild count let's run this and see if it works so let's go to the dashboard and it worked the bot is in three servers let's now display the servers that the bot shares with the user which will be a nice thing to do because we'll be needing to select it so let's create another route here i'll just copy this one here and i'll say get guilds and i'll call it get guild ids because the way i'm doing it isn't the best way of doing it i guess but this is a decent way so what we do is we will make a list i'm gonna call it final for each guild in my bot dog guilds we will say we will append so final dot append the id so guild dot id and then we will return this so what this does is it returns the guilds returns the guild ids to the client and we can process it later on here so inside of this we will actually get the guilds so guild ids can be get guild ids and once we have the ids here we can also get the guilds the user is in so user underscore guilds equals await discord dot fetch guilds now we can go through each of the guilds so for i or we can say for guild in user underscore guilds if the id of the guild is in if guild id in our guild ids here that means that it's a matching guild so let's have a matching guild or we can say same guilds i guess same underscore guilds equals a list and we can append it here so same guilds dot append the guild so this will store the guilds that the bot has in common with the user and to check if it works we can say the bot is in that many servers we can actually make a template as well we can create a new template 
save it as dashboard dashboard.html and we can copy some code from this here and paste it here we can say dashboard we can say coding bot dashboard and here we can display i guess this here we can display first we can display this in h1 and we need to use two curly brackets here and we can pass in the guild count through this so return await render template dashboard html and guild count equals this guild count and we can pass in the guild as well as matching matching can be same guilds for now let's just say let's just give it one guild so let's give it the first guild and let's just give it the name actually we can just give it the name for now the name of the first guild and we can display it so we can say h2 common guild and we can give it the matching h2 let's save it and let's rerun both the files the bottom by because we added this and we need to rerun the server as well and let's refresh and it works the coding bot dashboard the bot is in three servers and the coding academy is the common guild let's now display each and every one of the guilds that we share with the bot for that you might need to refer to this if you need help with templates so flask uses jinja and this is how you do it but i'm going to show a basic version here if i go back to the dashboard instead of being the first guild's name matching was the list of the guilds right so for that what we need to do is here we will say let's have our common guilds let's move this from here and call it common guilds let's actually use h2 here and h3 here and we will say we can use this example here that has been given in the documentation we can copy this and paste it here so it creates a list and we go through for each user and users now we don't really have any users we have a matching and for each guild in matching we don't need to create an a tag we can remove that a tag here we will just need an li tag with the guild's name so guild and name then we close the for loop with end for this is the syntax you can again refer to the documentation if you want to learn more about it or you can find some tutorials on it all right let's see if it works let's refresh and it worked common guilds we have the coding academy the ban arena and test 202 just to see that it actually worked we can go back and look at the common guilds that we share with coding bot and the mutual servers are the same so that's it for this video in the next video in the series i'll be making a drop down menu for this you'll be able to choose the guild and you'll be able to then access the specific dashboard for each of the guilds and you'll also be able to change the prefix and other guild settings so i'll meet you in the next one goodbye